Hey, welcome to Tarmac. Today we're inside the uh, the new Porsche Cayenne, uh, actually the KNS if we want to be more specific. It's uh, it's Porsche's big SUV and um, there's been quite a few changes and uh, let's go and take her out and see what this is all about. Taking design cues from the Panamera and the uh, Macan. Very sporty. Lots of grill down the front now. A lot more aggressive, I think. Something that's quite controversial, apparently, is the tyre width. Skinnier ones on the front than to the rear. Now that would normally cause a little bit of understeer but in this case there's plenty of traction control and vectoring, torque vectoring that will sort out that. No problems at all. There's currently three engines in the uh, KN lineup right now. There's a 3 litre V6, there's a 4 litre V8 and there's this one which is the 2.9 litre V6 twin turbo. As usual there's not much to see under the bonnet but rest assured there's plenty of poke from this engine. New look headlights as well. <laughs> Looks like something off of Predator. I have to admit this is the first KN I've actually driven uh, ever, which is kind of cool because this is the third generation is my understanding and um, Porsche have done quite a lot with it. The, uh, they've taken a little bit of uh, Macan and a little bit of Panamera and uh, wrapped it all into this uh, this la rather large SUV and it's actually larger than the second generation so not necessarily in wheelbase but certainly in cabin or overall sorry overall body size there's more room back there and uh, I think there's an extra hundred liters of boot space for whatever Porsche drivers put in their boot it is a luxury SUV there's no no mistaking um, with a sporty attitude and as you start turning the dials on the uh, on the steering wheel you can go sport and you can go sport plus and you can even indiv even individualize it easy for me to say it would appear or not uh, the ride is really quite soft in normal and really does change the moment you go into sport and sport plus i know it sort of should be obvious but uh, quite a lot of cars not doing that you sort of there is a difference but not that noticeable dashboard is brilliant there's some uh, good digital displays you can actually flick through and there you go and even some big navigation stuff and there's quite a lot you can do with your thumbs not that you've got that much time to do with things massive center console <laughs> it's huge less uh, less buttons than the, than was in the McCann um, it's gone very smooth and very uh, very touch sensitive rather than rather than big dials and buttons but there's still quite a lot of stuff to choose from it's also got these huge handles, which I understand from a passenger point of view, you want to hold on as you're going through. Not so sure as to the driver's side of things. I don't know whether I'm going to get so nervous I want to hold on to my own driving skills. I don't know. Anyway. Luxury smell. Beautiful leather. So this is the KNS with the Sports Chrono uh, option. So I think this does. 0 to 100 sub 5 seconds, I think it's about 4 6. There's no denying that she's a big girl, but to be honest, it actually feels quite easy to, to drive around. It doesn't feel too uh, mammoth on the, on the tarmac. So there's quite a lot of options to do with the SUV. It's You can adjust the ride height, the sportiness of the car. You can really unleash the, uh, the full power of that V6 and um, let loose. It's got 
uh, easy off road you just simply touch the button and you can go on road gravel mud sand rocks that you can set the terrain to high medium low uh, it's very very optional or full of options is what I'm trying to say 